Continue our team coverage with NBC 10's Jeff Saperstone. He's live in the newsroom. Jeff, this damage, this storm has really left behind so far. Just so intense. Give us a breakdown here. Yeah, we're well, some pretty impressive video coming into the newsroom. Uh, let's show you that storm once again. It is moving off the coast of Florida, so that's good news. But 3 million customers in that state in the dark this morning. We have also learned at least two people are dead. Let's take a look at Orlando from a little bit earlier this morning. The impact of Milton again still being felt. The storm made land fall again around 8:30 last night in Siesta Key as a category 3 before tearing across the state. So you can just hear those strong winds right there in the background and the water rushing under the street in Port Charlotte and other locations. Uh, the storm surge had been a major concern with Milton, as we had been telling you about. FEMA says more than 70,000 people are in government shelters right now. And we are seeing some of the damage. The roof of Tropicana Field, look at that, ripped right off. That is the home of the Tampa Bay Rays. The stadium was set to host up to 10,000 first responders with cots already set up on the field. And look at this, a tornado tore through Palm Beach County on Wednesday. As you heard Tevin mention, 126 tornado warnings issued at the start of Milton and more than 120 homes damaged because of that outbreak. You can see some of the damage there. President Biden says he sent thousands of federal workers to Florida, including more than 1,000 Coast Guard members. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Saperstone, NBC10 Boston. What a scene there, Jeff. Well, folks across the nation are joining together to do what they can to help those impacted by Milton. As you see those images, you want to step up and help. That includes us here in the Bay State. NBC 10's Alicia Palumbo live in Framingham with more on this. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, LaToya. In one sense, it actually helps out that agencies from Massachusetts, like MEMA here in Framingham, had already been deployed down to the southeast because of Hurricane Helene to help out when Hurricane Milton hit. Now, three employees from the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency had been deployed to assist in the response and recovery efforts in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia following Hurricane Helene. MEMA has now also offered its support to Florida in the aftermath of Hurricane Milton and expects it may deploy more personnel there as well. Employees from the Salvation Army out of Boston were in what's known as a red alert following the back-to-back -back monster storms. They are spreading out across several streets to help with recovery efforts there. And more than a dozen Red Cross volunteers from Massachusetts were also already down in the southeast helping with hurricane relief efforts. They were deployed originally for two weeks before Helene hit as part of the hurricane disaster operation there. But many are now extending their deployment and pivoting to help following Milton's devastation preparing supplies and shelter for those directly impacted. In fact, some of the supplies pre-positioned before Hurricane Helene hit are now available to help in the aftermath of Hurricane Milton. The Red Cross was able to pre-position um, hundreds of blood products down to Florida because, again, with this sustained severe weather, it might force blood drives to either cancel or reschedule or donors just can't get out. So we have been um, pre-positioning blood products in place so that hospital needs can still be met even when the hurricane's going on. Now, with these back-to-back -back hurricanes in the southeast, it's unclear how long these teams from Massachusetts will need to be deployed down there to help out in those impacted areas. We're live in Framingham. Alicia Palumbo, NBC10 Boston. Great information there, Alicia. And you can get the latest updates on Hurricane Milton by downloading the NBC10 Boston app. You can also stay on top of the storm's path heading to our website, NBC10Boston.com.